Hello and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. Now today, as I record this, is October 1st. 2013 and as you watch this you probably know that the crybabies that the spoiled children up in Washington DC are throwing little fits and right now they're have a faux government shutdown now there's a lot to say about this, obviously. Number one, uh, if you are affected by that, then you might want to reevaluate your priorities and say, why did I let myself get into that situation and to fix yourself in the future? Number two, why does the government in Washington, D.C., why does the federal government have so much influence over your life? They shouldn't. That is not the way this country was founded. It was not founded so that the federal government has day-to-day -day control over your individual life. All right, that is right there. But we found a story this morning. Now, we are recording this from Biloxi, Mississippi, and today is one of the honor flights. If you don't know what an honor flight is, I'll hip you real quick. It's been going on for several years now, but World War II veterans are being taken from around the country, flown to the National World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C., and it's called an honor flight. And my grandfather, Charles McClelland, who is a World War II veteran, and he's just about to turn 90 years old, so happy birthday, Grandpa. But uh, he went on an honor flight. Now, there's an honor flight. There was one scheduled this morning from Gulfport Biloxi Airport to Washington, D.C., and then they did it. They got there. And as I record this, the veterans are there and they get to the World War II Memorial and there are barriers there that say, sorry, the memorial's closed. I don't know how you need money or people to have a memorial open when you just walk in and look at it. But guess what these veterans did? It said, World War II veterans, this is the title of the story, World War II veterans push past the barriers and go to the memorial despite the sign stating that it is closed. And hurrah for you guys right out there. How many people in today's society, this is the great, just greatest generation here, uh, the few that we have remaining right now, have the guts to stand up to the crybabies in Washington and say, Oh, we're sorry, crybabies, but we're doing it anyway. So uh, we wanted to just take a moment, say how proud we are of these World War II veterans. And after we finish recording this, we're actually, the Student of the Gun crew is going to be going down to the Gulfport Biloxi Airport to welcome these veterans back from their trip. So what we have to say to you guys is, A, if the government shutdown is affecting you personally, you've got a personal problem and you need to fix yourself and potentially get your nose out of the government trough. And uh, uh, for all things Student of the Gun, <laughs> be sure you go to studentofthegun.com.